Good morning and welcome to the WHIG TV studios. I'm Dr. Gina Messer Node and we're coming to you live from the beautiful North Carolina Wesleyan University campus. Accelerate You is a program all about accelerating you, where we provide low cost and often free resources to do just that accelerate you and accelerate your business. I'm so very excited about our guest today. He may be the first of his kind. Um, an international student by the name of Gregor Baum who has written a book called The Hero's Mindset. So Gregor, welcome. Welcome to the studio. Appreciate it. Thank you very much for the invitation. Ah, I, it's so exciting having you here. So the first question that comes to everybody's mind is, how does a kid from Germany get to Rocky Mount? <laughs> so what, tell us how you, what happened there? Good question, good question. How, how got a kid from Germany to Rocky Mount? I was a passionate tennis player and I always wanted to come to the States to play college tennis. And I got in touch with my agency and told them, hey, I want a small college surrounded by nature and in the middle of nature, uh, in the middle of nowhere. And they found me Wesleyan University in Rocky Mount. And I was so pleased about the campus, I was pleased about the facility, I said, hey, that's my spot, I want to go to Rocky Mount. Okay, very good. So you came here because you were looking, you wanted to play tennis, mm -hmm. and you were really looking for what I'm going to call small town America. Exactly, yes, yeah, small town America. So what part of Germany do you come from? I come from Frankfurt. It's kind of a big city. Um, it's the major finance, the capital city in Germany, and yeah. It's a beautiful city, which I would recommend, which I would encourage you to visit. All right, Frankfurt, Germany. Yes, I'll put that on my list. Now, Gregor, um, th you, this is not your first college stop. You already have a degree. I already have a degree in Germany. Yes, which, which could be equal as an associate degree in hotel management. Hotel management. Okay, yes. very good. And I also know that you're pretty talented when it comes to languages. <laughs> How many languages do you speak? Good question. I speak three languages, um, a little bit of German, of course. <laughs> no, English and Spanish. I lived one year in Mexico when I was 17 due to a rotary exchange program. So with 17, I left my home country again, went one year to Mexico and learned Spanish over there. Okay, so you took part in a rotary exchange. So it sounds like you are a very adventurous young man. I am, I am. I look for adventures. I like to broaden my horizon. I like to go out of my comfort zone. And this is also what brought me most likely to, to the States. Okay, get outside of your comfort zone. I hope everybody heard that. That is a must for small business owners, entrepreneurs, and those of you who are hoping to accelerate yourself. So tell me, um, at some point you got here and um, you wrote, this one's called the Wesleyan Mindset, but it, the, the curriculum's really called the Hero's Mindset and he can customize it to fit your needs for you and your company. How did this all come about? Good question. Um, after I came to the States, I wanted to play tennis, but I couldn't continue with my dream because I got injured. I got injured and I had a lot of time and I got involved on campus. I started public speaking, I started clubbing campus, and I saw kind of a need for mindset. I was struggling after my inju injury. I went into a little depression, but I came out of it and I said, hey, I learned something from, from those experience. I learned something from, from going out from Germany to Mexico, having a degree in, certain, in, in hotel management. I said, hey, why not trying to create a book where I send people, especially students, into an inner journey. We're all struggling with mental health. I struggle, I still struggle sometimes, and those are good tools to support your mental health and to go inwards to reflect a little bit about your life, about your desires, about your dreams and motivations. Mental health is such a big issue right now, especially since our kind of post-pandemic world. So if I heard you correctly, you came with a goal, a dream of playing tennis and you got injured. Exactly. Okay. You know, I think a lot of us can relate to that. So you had to change that mindset. You had to start thinking of, of other things to do. Easier said than done. Easier, Easier said, said than, than done. done. So you, can you think back to that very first day? Did you just start writing in a journal? Did you write on just a scrap piece of paper? How did mm -hmm. the actual mindset come about? Good point, good point. Um, I, def I had to adapt. I had to change my perspective. I had to change my interests. So I found a good friend. He arrived last semester, so it's not full credit for me. I have a good friend, Harold Singh. He's the co-founder of the, of the product, he's the co-founder of the company, and we both resonated with each other. He was into mindset, he was into self-improvement, and yes, I took the initiative, I was proactive and said, hey, Harley, we have to do something here on campus, we want to leave the place in a better situation. So we sat together and came up with all we had in mind. So it was just, we just 
put out our ideas. There was no structure, nothing else. And with time, this book evolved. Like we put one, one topic together and one module, and then it evolved into a six week or a 60 day journey. So, it's, but it started with being proactive and just getting the ideas out of the paper, out into paper. All right, so once again, our audience, proactive in putting the ideas on paper. Yes free doesn't cost you anything to sit down and gather your thoughts but it also and we have so many guests on the show and they really say what you just said you had a really good friend yes my guest last week pretty much hearkened the same thing ask for help mm. don't be afraid or ashamed Ooh. to ask for help yes big time um, we all know we have those pride we can do it all by ourselves I don't want any help but no there's a team and on this project, there are even two more people on the team. The design part, there are two important girls uh, who are part of the design and the marketing. And if you create a team, you don't have to know how to use Canva. You don't have to use the design. But everybody works for his own piece and asking for help, perhaps even delegating certain uh, tasks. You don't, need to have, you don't need to know everything. So as you said, asking for help and trying to create a supportive team environment. Okay, once again, Create that team, mm -hmm. you've got certain strengths, they've got exactly. certain strengths, and then together you make this wonderful exactly. team with a shared vision. With a shared vision. So what is, uh, when you were writing the mindset, what was one of the daily things that you did to keep yourself going? Is there one exercise mm -hmm. in here that you can share that our audience can start doing today? Definitely, definitely. Um, our big topic is self-reflection key is awareness because if you don't become aware of our strengths or even weaknesses how can we yeah direct our life and we want to see our strengths and weaknesses to become aware of them so one key day i would say is um it's all about you it would be about today and there's an easy question who starts with who are you how would you describe yourself from your perspective so you get a little bit of a just okay i'm not just I'm Craig Abau, I'm 23 years old from Germany, but I ask a deeper question. Am I a loving person? Am I a caring person? Am I a supportive person? Or do I, everybody has flaws. I'm not perfect. I have certain, I'm sometimes a little bit impatient. It can be for a German to be a little bit impatient. Sometimes I'm really direct and speak too fast. So I would ask myself, hey, do you want to be uh, unloving and impatient with your surrounding? Or you want to be a little bit more patient? So I ask myself, you what kind of person are you? And I try to come up with honest answers. And those questions are just prompting you. There's no right and wrong, no judgment involved, but to go inwards and see who you really are. And what, do, what is my goal once I do that? You had mentioned that perhaps you are impatient. Uh, maybe you can be a little pushy. <laughs> so once you put that down and you go, mm, I'm, a little, I'm, I'm very loving, but I'm a little impatient. What, what do you do with the information then? With those information, you can see that, ah, okay, I can work on those areas in my life. I can, see, I can look up for exercises which I can learn to be a little more patient. I st thanks to be aware of that, I started with meditating. Once I started with meditating, I become a little bit more patient. It just helps to, to see who you are, what kind of strengths you are, what kind of weaknesses you have, and room for improvement. By going inwards, by reflecting about your own life, what I think is the most important reflection you can do. Knowing your own words, knowing you are the most important asset. So, inward reflection, listing your strengths and your weaknesses, and then making really sort of an inventory. Yes. What could I potentially do better? What, what do I potentially want to do better? Mm -hmm. There may be some things that you don't want to change about yourself. Um, and then you mentioned meditation. You like, to, you like to meditate. You have found that to be very helpful. I found it to be really helpful to calm my mind, to be just in the moment, to focus myself, to calm my anxiety. For example, right now, f before I started the show, I was a little bit anxious and nervous, but it could be kind of obvious if you speak live on TV. But to throw out a little meditation, I could calm my mind, I could calm my anxiety, and be here in the moment with you, enjoying the time with our guests. Of course, of course. And once again, uh, meditation, exercise, I hate to tell you folks, it's free. <laughs> it's you can free. You can certainly go for a walk. Uh, you talked about our, our lovely community here in which we live. Uh, North Carolina Wesleyan has a wonderful walking yes. trail uh, through campus. It is available to anyone. You don't have to be a student to come out here and walk around campus. And so once again, some free things that you can do to focus yourself mm -hmm. because as a better person and as an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. you must stay focused. Definitely. It's, um, it's very, very, very important. So um, 
What's next? What's next with the mindset? You're delivering it. Mm -hmm. You're delivering it and you are available to, to, to be contracted with. If someone is interested, you can offer this in a, a very short uh, format or you can make it over mm -hmm. like an eight week period, an hour a day mm -hmm. or whatever a company mm -hmm. may or may not like. What would you recommend? Uh, what types of people would you recommend go through the program and who would you recommend consider the program? Good question. So I definitely think it could be used for everyone. Everyone. But, but right now this is more focused on high school students and college students. We all suffer especially when we go from the high school to a college and this is meant to maintain a better relationship with oneself. So after this course you will have a better relationship with oneself, a loving relationship, hence less negativity, most likely less depressions. So if somebody wants to contract us, we have like eight weeks course which we already implemented here on campus. We started last week, no, this Tuesday was our first module about self-reflection and this goes out throughout the whole semester. So this was the eight weeks course. If a college, a high school wants to contact us, we can come in, we bring the material and teach teach and guide the students throughout the inner journey or if somebody just wants to see how it's going about what is it we offer like also one hour where we create like an overview about the whole workshop we are offering. Mm -hmm. Very good so once again uh, he can do a one hour overview or he can uh, design a program to last an entire 16 weeks um, but I think the average is about eight weeks. Yes average would be eight the average weeks. Be, the curriculum will be customized to you Mm -hmm. um, so, at the, once again, the hero's mindset, we call it the Wesleyan mindset here on campus, but it could really be tailored to whatever it is that you need. Um, and we also are in the process of doing data collection so we can show you that it really does work. Exactly. The results are key. Yes. The results are key. And I know you said that you focused on high school students and college students mm -hmm. because that was you. That was you and Hadi. Exactly. So when you, you, you were both struggling, you were both athletes, you had both got and injured mm -hmm. and you were like what next yes so that brought you together and that but that brought you writing the mindset mm -hmm. um, but as we've discussed this is really applicable to anyone because I'm, I'm, I'm I know it's hard to believe but I'm no longer 23 but 25 uh, 25, <laughs> 25 and holding but um, you know, I could benefit by the self-reflection mm -hmm. because e once again in a post pandemic world I think we're all a tad bit I, I dare I hate to use the word depressed, but you know we're, 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 it's different. It's, it's different. just a, we're in a different place in this post-pandemic yes. world. So and whatever whatever can help us be better. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is not just about self-reflection and for students. It's about to having a better relationship with oneself. And I think if you're a student, a college, uh, a high school student, college student, professor, it doesn't matter who you are or where where you are in your life. It's about a relationship with oneself, and you always will have a relationship with oneself. So this is aiming to have a, or to create a better relationship with oneself, to go inwards and to find literally your inner here, to find your inner strength in yourself. So it doesn't matter where you're from, who you are, what age you are. It just the relationship is oneself. We think it's the most important relationship we can maintain and yeah improve. And you are right about that. As hard as we try, we can't get away from ourselves. Mm -mm. We're, we, we have to be happy with us before <laughs> we can be happy with anyone else. I know that's a corny saying. It's been said a hundred times, but it really, really, really is true. You have to be happy with that. Um, I want to go back for a minute and talk about um, you growing up in Germany and Frankfurt. I, I'm still just amazed that uh, such a young person, you know, got on a plane and you left and you came here and then you, you did a stint in Mexico for a year. Um, what what did your parents think about all of that? Were they supportive? I have to think, I, I, did your mom cry a little bit? Tell <laughs> me. I, I just don't know. I mean, my parents are really supportive in terms of going into the world, learning a new language, a broaden your horizon, and they were the ones who pushed me into the exchange program. They were the ones who said, hey, you don't think it could be a good idea to study, study abroad? And said, yes. I mean, they are really supportive. Yes, they missed the little baby. They missed the little Gregor. I'm not reachable. I'm not living in Italy or France, just a two hours flight. So they miss me, but they are supportive. They are proud of me. They see I'm doing great things. They see I'm on my way. And they see I'm happy where I am. I'm really happy in the States. I'm really happy in Rocky Mountain at Wesleyan. Um, I, to be honest, I will not say it live, but I don't want to say it live, but I will say it live. 
I have struggled to sing to go back to Germany. I have struggled to sing to go back to Frankfurt. For Christmas, yes, to see my family, friends, but I feel really comfortable in the States. I feel really comfortable here in Rocky Mount, and I think this is the sign. Many people come to the States, many people come to Rocky Mount because what they have here, Wesley and Rocky Mount has a lot to offer. So I'm comfortable and my parents support me, but they would love to see me back, obviously. Did you hear that, folks? We've converted him. He, he <laughs> likes the South. Um, you ha you've been very fortunate. You, were, you said, I have supportive parents. I've been able to travel. I speak many languages. To our young people out there, to our business owners, to our entrepreneurs that don't have that opportunity to just hop on a jet and go somewhere, what can I do on a limited budget. What can I do here? I mean, you've already talked about Rocky Mount being beautiful and you like it and you like to meditate and you like to exercise. What can, what other f free advice mm -hmm. can you give our folks or low cost advice can you give our folks in terms of, you know, you can't physically go to another mm -hmm. place, but maybe Mended. in your mind yeah. go yeah. to another place. Yeah, um, it wasn't always that fact that I traveled throughout my life, but I, learning languages is key. My languages, opinion. okay. And there are good free applications which everybody can download. And if he's determined to learn a new language, he can learn a new language literally over his phone. There are good applications about Duolingo. You download it if you want to learn German. It's hard to learn, but he can or she can learn a language over phone. So I would recommend him or her to yeah to try to learn a little bit about a new language, perhaps Spanish, perhaps French. I don't know. But it could be beneficial for them to learn a little bit about another language. Okay, so one way to step out of the comfort zone, learn something new, uh, a new language. And you're right, there are many, many, many different apps out there, mm -hmm. not just for language, but uh, Google. You can you, know, you can certainly learn all kinds of business applications there for free. Mm -hmm. um, even TikTok, you can go and you can uh, create your filters in such a way that it's not just... Mm. fun videos mm. there could be some serious business videos as well so um, we won't I won't call your mom when this <laughs> is over with and say he's really really happy here <laughs> but I'm glad that you're really really happy here so what's next what's, what's next, what's next? How, yeah what's next good question uh, what is next is first university is still paramount that I finished my graduation here in wrestling I still have one year to go um, this is the main goal, this is the main destination I would like to reach. <coughs> and, and with regards of the business, we would like to yeah, get, a, get a contract, we would like to get out and spread the good news, to get, in, get to starting working with schools, colleges in our surrounding. Mm, yeah, this is what we are aiming for. Next semester, um, Hajat, my co-partner, is um, coming back from New Zealand. He was there over the, this semester and then we look forward to acquire clients. To, to, to spread the news and um, so far so good. Keeping, keeping going on with, with, the trans, with the mindset right now, with the keeping on move, improving, looking for other clients and yeah, this is what we have planned so far. So there you go folks, to look for uh, additional clients and to deliver the curriculum and it costs absolutely nothing to reach out to Gregor, but I do know that he's going to be in a few places and I'll plug those. So you are currently teaching the mindset at night at Wesleyan mm -hmm. on Tuesday nights yes, from 7 to 8 yes. in the Flex Lab yes. in the library. Mm -hmm. Um, you are scheduled to be at the Rocky Mount Area Chamber of Commerce's Women's Leadership Conference on March 30th. Mm. That is from 8 to 1. Um, I don't know if tickets are still available, but um, there is a wait list and you can call the Rocky Mount Area Chamber of Commerce or you can call the studio here and we can get you that information. You'll be at that uh, conference as well. And then, um, and I know it sounds a long way away, but it's really not. In September, Tender. he will be delivering uh, a condensed version of the mindset at the Rocky Mount Area Chamber of Commerce for a lunch and learn. So um, he is out and about in the community once again. Um, now, if they don't want to contact me, they can contact you mm -hmm. through what? Through Instagram. We have a website. Um, it's called GH Inner Performance. And I also have a private Instagram account, which is called Gregorbaum99. Our website, ghinnerperformance.com, is also um, on air, so where we can reach out to, where you can reach out to us. You can see our full full services, and yeah, I'm looking forward to get in touch with with different with different companies, with different institutions, and yes, yeah. I'm I'm just living the American dream, coming to the state, leaving everything behind, and yeah, trying to make it big and f as fast as possible in the states. 
Well, um, you truly are living the American dream, or at least you're doing your best that you possibly can to embrace it. Mm -hmm. um, it would be nice uh, if, if you sharing that and if other people will follow in your lead. I want people to know that's GH Inner Performance. Um, and you can also find him, Gregor, that's BAUM, B-A-U-M, <laughs> on Instagram and once again you can always contact um, us here at the studio or at the college so we just have uh, two minutes left Gregor um, you, you mentioned Hadi Hadi is your partner mm -hmm. from New Zealand who was also an athlete who got hurt and, and, and unfortunately he got hurt a little bit worse than you did so he had to go home for a while and he will be coming back but when you talk about building a team and you mentioned that you have some uh, different folks doing different mm -hmm. different aspects when you sat down and you wrote the mindset did you feel like you had a role and Hadi had a role definitely um there was the why guy and the how guy uh, I was more like the why guy, the creative guy who came up with the ideas who saw the purpose in this book who saw or who had the energy of service of giving out this information to the students so I was more like the why are we doing this to send students on the inner journey to become more aware of themselves and Hardy was the guy who put certain things into place I trembled around said certain things and he put it in place he honed everything and put it into reality so it was literally like the why guy and the how guy this was the reason why we connected so good why we resonated so good and then something like that came into place um, and once again, and, and these are the really these are free tips, folks. Um, create your team. Don't have your whole team look like you. Mm -hmm. um, make sure that whatever you're strong at, somebody's strong in another mm -hmm. area, and so forth and so on. He referenced he had a team of young ladies, and I know that they're very creative mm -hmm. in terms of the website and the digital design and that sort of thing. Um, Hadi was more of the salesperson, and you were more of the curriculum person. Um, so it does. It has made a beautiful, beautiful team. Um, so I, I just I can't thank you enough for coming on the show today. Um, any 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 last words you want to share with our audience? Any last words I would like to share with the audience? Yes, I would like to encourage them to look inwards, to go inwards, to ask yourself some question and come up with your own answers. Like there's no right and wrong, but reflection and awareness is key. If you want to know in which direction you want to go, if you know what you don't want, it's also important. There's one section in the book where it's where, who, or what you don't want to be. By knowing that, certain things limit. For example, me, I don't want to go into the hotel industry anymore. This helps that this path is closed for me and I could focus on other things. So ask yourself questions, go inward, and reflect about your own life, about your own life, yeah. And I think it's, we also need to uh, point out that those that, that inner desire also changes, right? You, mm -hmm. you said at one point I was hotel management. I was very excited about mm -hmm. that. That changed. That's okay. Exactly. That's okay. You don't always have to be on the same path. So this is why this self-reflection inventory is so very important because it's not going to be the same at 23 as 32 <laughs> and 32 at 64, whatever it may be. Um, so great, great, great advice. Thank you so much for coming on today. Once again, if you need to reach out to Gregor, you can call me here at the studio or North Carolina Wesleyan University. You can look at GH Inner Performance online, Instagram, or Gregor Baum, B A U M 99 on Instagram. Thank you so much for tuning in today to Accelerate You, and we will see you next time. See you. Auf Wiedersehen. Tschüss.